Hi, I'm Vince Samuels and I'm converting a shipping container into a tiny house style home office. In the previous episode, we installed the wiring and in this episode, it's probably the most important step and that is insulating the shipping container. So the construction of the ceiling is basically like this. We've got the seal roof of the container. Then we've got the two by three timber framing. And in between that, we've got 50 millimeters of polyisocyanurate, also called polyiso or PIR. Below that, we've got an inch of polyiso and a sheet of plasterboard, and that's, that's a laminate. So that means we have 75 mils of polyiso between the inside of the container and the ceiling. And that's the equivalent to about 150 mil of traditional loft insulation or 150 mil of the expanded polystyrene. So that should give us actually some really, really good insulation. And I'm hoping that'll keep it warm in winter and cool in summer. The walls and the floor have just 50 mil of polyisocyanurate insulation, and that's pushed in between the two x three timbers. I'm also using some expanding spray foam in behind the timbers and also in any cracks between the polyiso and those timbers. In some cases, the ceiling panels are a little bit loose and I've just used some screws to hold them in place temporarily until the expanding foam cures. Just with 50 mm of insulation installed, it makes a huge difference in terms of temperature. Outside it's about 28 degrees and there's been some beating down on this container. Inside the container it's been just absolutely red hot, probably 35, 40 degrees pretty consistently. Um, but with the insulation installed now, it's brought that temperature way down and that's really, really fantastic. And it gives me a lot of confidence that 50 mm of insulation, although it doesn't sound like a lot, is gonna do the job. Thank you very, very much for watching. In the next video, I'll be installing an extremely expensive, very, very cool door. So for now, make sure you're subscribed. If you've got any questions or comments, pop them down in the comments below. If you've got the means, there's a Patreon link in the description and I'd be very, very grateful for your support. There's also a link to my Instagram. And if you've enjoyed this video, if you could give it a like, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode.